Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this radical problem and find the value of m that will satisfy this equation. So what we are going to do is we can simply recopy this. We have the square root of m times we have square root of m again times we have square root of m. And this is equals to 3. So what we are going to do is simply we can take the squares of both part of this equation. So what we are going to have is the square root here will be cancelled by the square here. So we will simply have m times root of m times root of m and this equals 9. So the next thing we are going to do is to take another squares so we have m times root of m times root of m and this is raised to the power of 2 and this is 9 raised to the power of 2 so by doing that we are going to have m squared times square root here will be cancelled by the square here we have m then we have times root of m and this equals 81 so the next thing we are going to do again is to take another square. So we have m squared times m times root of m or power 2 and this equals 81 power 2. So by doing that we are going to have m power 4 times m power 2 times m and this equals 81 power 2. So what happens here is, remember this is m raised to the power of 1. If you have a power b times a power c times a power d, this equals a power b plus c plus d. So using this identity, we are going to have m power 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 81 power 2. So this will give us m power 7 equals 81 is simply 3 power 4 we have 3 power 4 or power 2 so we are now going to have m power 7 equals 3 power 8 that is 4 times 2 so what we are going to do is we can have it as m power 7 let's multiply the exponent by 1 over 7 we do the same thing here 3 power 8 power 1 over 7 so we will have m equals 3 power 8 over 7 now we can leave our answer this way or we can simplify it further we can have m equals 3 power 8 over 7 is an improper fraction so we can have it as one whole number 1 over 7 and this simply means we can also have m equals 3 power 1 plus 1 over 7. 1 plus 1 over 7 is the same thing as this. So the next thing we are going to do is we can have it as m equals 3 power 1 times 3 power 1 over 7. Making use of loss of indices right here. So from here we are going to have m equals 3 power 1 is 3 times we can take the seventh root of this 3 we have the 7 root of 3 so this is our final answer now the next thing we are going to do is we can go ahead and check if the value of the m that we have gotten will satisfy that equation remember we have m equals we are not going to make use of this simplified form. We can make use of this form here. This one here. 3 power 8 over 7. So we have m equals 3 power 8 over 7. And the question was square root of m times root of m times root of m. And this equals 3. So, what we have here can further be written as 
This external square root simply means we are going to have square root of n times. There's a square root here that also covers this other square root. We have square root times another square root of n times. Then we have triple square root of m and this equals 3. Have you seen that? So, according to the index law, if you have a power n, maybe root of a power n, this equals a power n or power 1 over 2. So, because of this identity, this square root of m simply means we are going to have m power 1 over 2 times this one here we are going to have m power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, that is 1 over 4. Have you seen that? Times this one means we are going to have 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, and that is 1 over 8. m power 1 over 8. Is that equals 3? Now let's insert the values of m. So we have our m is 3 power 8 over 7. 3 power 8 over 7 times 1 over 2 times this will be 3 power 8 over 7 times 1 over 4 times this will be 3 power 8 over 7 times 1 over 8 and this equals 3. Have you seen that? So let's multiply it out. This exponent we will have 3 power 8 over, this is 14, times 3 power 8 over, this is 28, times 3 power 8 over, this is 56, and this equals 3. So what we are going to do next is, since the bases are the same, we take 1, then we add the exponent because this is multiplication according to index law. So you have 8 over 14 plus 8 over 28 plus 8 over 56. And this equals 3. Let's find out. So what we are going to do is to find the common LCM here. That is 56. We have 3 power. The LCM here is 56. 56 divide 14. So we are going to have 4, 4 times 8, we are going to have 32, plus 56 divides 28, we are going to have 2, 2 times 8, we have 16, plus this we are going to have 8, because 56 divide 56 is 1, 1 times 8 is 8, and this equals 3. If you add 32 plus 16 plus 8, you have 3 power 56 divided by 56, and this equals 3. So 56 divided by 56 is 1. We have 3 power 1 equals 3, and that means 3 equals 3. So this shows that the answer that we got, which is 3 power 8 over 7, is absolutely very correct. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.